Matilda. Have you ever been to the Temple of Debella in Markarth Bar? I had quite an interesting experience there recently. Can't say I've had the pleasure. I'm more of a warrior than a worshiper, if you catch my drift. What happened that that's got you so intrigued? Sal. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Ah, sounds like a tale for another time, then. I've had my fair share of rowdy nights, so I can imagine how that went. We continue to chat, but not about anything important or noteworthy for now. Sardier, I've been meaning to ask, how are you finding your work at the Bannard Nair? It's not easy being on your feet all day, serving food and drinks to patrons. You want a drink? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. It's tiring, yes, but it keeps me busy in my mind off my troubles. And Helda has been very kind to me. I'm grateful for this place and for the people who frequent it. It's starting to feel like a second home. We continue to chat. I'm not about anything important or noteworthy for now. Here, Rilith, my old friend. We've known each other for a long time. How do you feel our relationship has changed over the years, especially since I became Jarl? Jarl Balgroth, our bond has only grown stronger with time. When we first met as youths, we forged our friendship through the fires of war. Now, as your house call, my loyalty and dedication to your protection is unwavering. The added responsibilities of being a Jarl have only made me more determined to keep you safe from the many threats that surround us. I couldn't ask for a more devoted friend and protector, Irilith. With the current state of affairs in Skyrim, your presence is more valuable than ever. Speaking of which, what are your thoughts on the recent dragon attack at the Western Watchtower? The dragon attack at the Western Watchtower was a grim reminder of the dangers we face, not just from political turmoil, but from ancient threats as well. It is heartening to see the emergence of a dragon born in our time of need. Their presence brings hope that we may overcome these challenges. Indeed, the return of the dragons is a cause for great concern. However, the arrival of the Dragonborn has given us a glimmer of hope in these dark times. I am grateful for your unwavering support and protection, Irelith. Together, we will weather any storm that comes our way. With that said, let us turn our attention to the matters at hand and prepare for the challenges ahead. We continue to chat, but not about anything important or noteworthy for now. Irelith. I can always count on you to be by my side, whether on the battlefield or in the halls of Dragon's Reach. I am grateful for your unwavering loyalty and friendship. We have been through much together, my friend. It is an honor to serve as your house call and protect you from the many threats that come with being young. Indeed, these are trying times for Skyrim. The dragon attack at the Western Watchtower has only added to our troubles. But with the emergence of the Dragonborn, there is hope yet. I agree. The Dragonborn is a force to be reckoned with, and their arrival couldn't have come at a better time. Together, we must remain vigilant and face whatever challenges lie ahead. I couldn't ask for a better companion and protector than you, Virilith. Your strength and dedication give me the courage to continue leading White Run through these dark times. And I will always be here for you, my job. It seems the responsibilities and threats we face are only growing. The swore, the Talmors meddling, the dragons returning. That is a lot for any Jarl to bear. Indeed, my friend. But we have faced many challenges, 
before and come out stronger for it. I have faith that we can overcome these trials as well. Your confidence and support give me strength, Iraya. Together, we will steer White Run through these troubled waters. Now, let us see what news Faringa has uncovered regarding the dragons. Perhaps this new dragonborn can truly turn the tide. We continue to chart, but not about anything important or noteworthy for now. Commander Chaos, I've been meaning to talk to you about the state of our city's defenses. With the storm cloaks growing bolder by the day, we need to ensure White Front is prepared for any potential attack. Rommer, I assure you that my men are doing everything in their power to keep White Front safe. We have increased patrols and fortified key positions throughout the city. That may be so, but I can't help but feel that we're not doing enough. The IR seems content to sit back and wait for the Empire to solve this problem, but I believe we should take a more proactive approach. While I understand your concerns, we must also consider the potential consequences of acting rashly. The Empire has the resources and manpower to deal with the Stormcloak threat. Our best course of action is to support their efforts and maintain order within our own city. You make a fair point, Commander Kess. I suppose I'm just eager to see this conflict resolved and our city protected. Believe me, Bromber, I share your desire for peace and security. But we must trust in the Empire's strategy and do our part to keep White Run safe until the Stone Club threat is eliminated. Very well. I will place my faith in the Empire and the strength of our city's defenses. But mark my words, if the Stone Cloaks dare to attack White Run, they will find a formidable foe in the sons and daughters of Skyrim. On that, we are in complete agreement, Romber. The people of White Run are strong and resilient, and we will stand together against any enemy that threatens our home. We continue to chat, but not about anything important or noteworthy for now. I've Bye. been thinking a lot about our earlier conversation with Commander Chaos, Irelith. It's clear that we cannot rely solely on the Empire's support to protect White Run from the Stormcloak threat. We need to be proactive, fortifying our defenses, and preparing our people for any potential attack. You raise a valid point, Fonga. While the Empire's support is crucial, we cannot afford to be complacent. As house call to Jarl Balgroth, I take the protection of Whiterun and its people very seriously. We must work together to ensure that our city remains safe and secure, no matter what challenges we face. Indeed, Irelith, our strength lies in our unity and our shared commitment to the safety and well-being of Whiterun. By working together and remaining vigilant, we can overcome any obstacle that comes our way. Agreed, Hrongar. We must remain steadfast in our resolve and continue to support one another, just as we have always done. Together, we will weather any storm that threatens our beloved city. We continue to chat, but not about anything important or noteworthy for now. Had you heard about the recent dragon sightings near White Run? It has me quite worried. Aye. We've been on high alert since the reports came in. But don't you fret, Jurger. The guards of White Run are ready to defend the city and its people. I appreciate your bravery and dedication, guard. It's comforting to know that we have such capable protectors. It's our duty and honor to serve and protect the people of White Run. You just focus on your work at the palace and leave the dragon troubles to us. We'll make sure no harm comes to the city or its inhabitants. We continue to chat, but not about anything important or noteworthy for now. Selves. You know, traveling across Skyrim has given me a lot of time to think about life and what really matters. Have you ever thought about what truly drives you, Valmilier? Until next time. You know, Dahlia, life's too short to just wander. I say we make our own purpose. We've seen the hardships out there, and I reckon it's up to us to bring a little light where we can. Whether it's with a hammer in hand or a kind word, every bit counts. That's a beautiful way to see it, Van Miller. I guess that's why we're all here, part of this group, right? To make a difference where we can, even if it's just for a few. And maybe, along the way, we figure out our own paths too.
Have you heard of the Thieves Guild in Riffin? I've been thinking of joining them. Apparently, they have quite the network across Skyrim. What do you think about such groups? The Thieves Guild, hmm? They're a cunning bunch, no doubt. But there's a fine line between being cunning and being dishonorable. I prefer to keep my hands clean. But tell me, what draws you to them? You make a fair point, Delia. I've always been one for adventure and the thrill of a challenge. Perhaps I should consider the implications more carefully. There's more to life than quick coins and dangerous games, after all. Maybe I'll find my excitement elsewhere. There's plenty of adventure to be had without resorting to thievery. The roads of Skyrim are filled with opportunities for those brave enough to seek them. And who knows? Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future, under better circumstances. So you're back again, Karjit. What brings you to my city this time? Well, Alfred, it seems our Khajiit friend here has had their fill of conversation for now. How about we move on to more pleasant topics, eh? I heard there's been talk of a festival coming up soon. That should be good for business, don't you think? You know, you know I've been thinking about the nature of strength. We are also associated with physical prowess, but I believe there's a different kind of strength that's equally important. It's the strength of character, of resilience in the face of adversity. We sell bows, arrows, and ale. A unique combination, to be sure. I couldn't agree more, Valmilia. Strength of character is what truly defines us, not the physical strength we possess. It's about the choices we make, the values we uphold, and the way we face challenges. It's a good reminder for us all to strive for inner strength. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation about starting a new faction. It's an ambitious endeavor. What inspired you to take on such a challenge? It's a mix of wanting to make a difference and seeking a sense of purpose. We've all seen our share of troubles, and banding together feels like the best way forward. I can understand that. Well, I wish you luck in your ventures. It's not an easy path, but with determination, it can lead to great things. Anyway, enough about that. Have you tried the latest brew we got in? It's quite the treat. You know, running a tavern in a city like Whiterun, you hear all sorts of stories from all sorts of people. Valmilia, I'm sure you've got a few tales of your own. What's the most interesting place you've been to in your travels? Oh, where to begin? I once found myself in a Dwemer ruin deep beneath the ground. The machines, the architecture. It was like stepping into another world. But the most interesting place... That would be the Soul Cairn. It's not a place for the faint of heart, but the experience. It's unforgettable. What about you, Lauren, dear? You must have traveled a bit yourself before settling down here. Hi. I've seen my share of Skyrim's corners. But settling down here in Whiterun, running the drunken huntsman, it's got its own charm. Every day's a new story, a new face. It's not as exciting as ancient ruins or the Soul Cairn, but it's home. There's something to be said for that, having a place to call home. And who knows? Maybe one day, I'll hang up my hammer and do the same. But until then, there's still so much to see, so much to do. To each their own path, eh? Whether that's behind a bar or in the depths of a dungeon. As long as there's meat at the end of the day, I reckon we're doing all right. I'll drink to that. We continue to chat, but not about anything important or noteworthy for now.